Hello there. Friday evening brought some quite dramatic weather for some of us, especially across parts of England. Through the western side of the Midlands, there was some heavy thundery rain. That was how it looked for a weather watcher in South Staffordshire. And then to the northeast of London and up into Essex, some really vicious thunderstorms with reports of localised flash flooding and even reports of a tornado in East London, or at the very least, some squally gusty winds in amongst these showers which did cause some damage. And Matt, sometimes you have Lurking. a lovely picture behind you and uh, we ask no questions because it just looks nice. That requires a bit of explanation, I think. It does. Lively day yesterday, Charlie. Now, a very good morning to across some parts of uh, East London and Essex. This funnel cloud, potential tornado as well, spotted by quite a few people in the area. Certainly some wind damage across parts of East London, even captured on uh, camera here. Uh, we saw, to go with that, some severe thunderstorms. There was some flooding around as well, not just to the east of London across Essex, but also in parts of the Midlands where the M42 was shut for a time as well. Now, there is some good news. If you did experience those storms, uh, not as lively as weather today, but there will be one or two showers dotted around across the country. A little bit damp and drizzly for some, but many will be dry. Many will be dry tomorrow. The main exception will be across southern counties of England and Wales, as I'll show you. But away from those areas, there will be a reasonable amount of sunshine this afternoon and temperatures in the sunshine for England and Wales into the uh, low 20s, just helping those pollen levels up once again. If you're suffering like me, not a great day for that. Oh, Matt, we were just talking about you. Morning. And we're just saying, um, you know, you'd been looking ahead to the Wimbledon weather. That's what is behind you. We don't want to see. But we have seen, haven't we? We certainly have. And there is a very, very small chance over the first few days of Wimbledon we could see the odd scene like this. Uh, it won't be uh, a washout by any means, but there could just be a few interruptions as showers push in and then the rest of the week looks dry for Wimbledon. But these were yesterday from uh, parts of Essex and the east of London. Some severe storms around, uh, potential tornadoes as well, lots of damage. So similar sort of skies as well across parts of the Midlands. But today is looking a little bit quieter. Uh, but uh, should we do a little bit of weather for you this morning? Because uh, after yesterday's storms in London, things are starting to brighten up now. The morning cloud breaking up here. But for some, it'll be a bit of a struggle today. Not a great uh, look, is it, for when you're on uh, a bit of uh, a camping holiday in uh, parts of Cumbria. It's a bit grey, it's a bit drizzly. Some of that will hang around across northern England and southern Scotland. through the Well, very beautiful, but I am mindful, and I'm looking over towards uh, Matt. Look at that scene there, Anglesey. Who needs to go away? Look at yeah, that. You could all go there. Point. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Exactly. Beautiful spot to be. Looking out towards Snowdonia, of course, across the Menai Strait there. And there will be a fair bit of sunshine to come today. It's a different sort of story, though, towards the northeast of England, southeast Scotland. It's grey, it's damp, it's drizzly. Won't be quite as chilly as it was yesterday, but it's still rather cool for this stage in June. But that air of low pressure is still hanging around as we go into the early part of next week across the south. And that does mean for the start of Wimbledon, there could be a few interruptions to play on and off with some sunny spells in between. And today, even, we could see a few showers for Amsterdam as Wales takes on Denmark. That's it. Back to you both. I hope it's going to rain on the um, D Danish side of the um, pitch. Yeah, You're familiar that they do change in. Side, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm not a football expert, Matt. Do you, uh, is that true? Am I right about that? I'm just... I, I, think, I think I'll agree with you this one, Charlie, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's in a bit later. We'll, we'll clarify that because we sometimes clarify? we've got to clarify. I'll yeah. check the rule book. Isn't, isn't the thing it's a game of two halves, isn't it? There you go. I think you're right about that I as well. I think so. We're all on the learning curve. There we are. Uh, Saturday, it's a weekend. It's summertime, Matt. Is it summertime? You know what? It'll feel like it for some, I think, uh, over the next couple of days, especially when you get the sunshine, Charlie. Good morning. And there is a little bit on the south coast at the moment. Won't be quite the same tomorrow in Dorset. But look at this. It doesn't feel like summer in the northeast of England, southeast Scotland. Uh, rather grey, drizzly conditions. Well, look, you've got, got another beautiful picture of the Isle of Arran there, because we did just see some absolutely stunning scenes, didn't we? It does, and I thought, I'll see if I can find a weather watcher shot. This is actually from yesterday afternoon in the sunshine. And, you know, it does look amazing, doesn't it? It does look like somewhere... More uh, for Mediterranean, except for you've got basically Scotland in miniature just behind. Beautiful scenes there. More sunshine to come across Arran at times later today.